So with the increased interest in Classic Era, I've decided to make a guide on how to totally remaster the game client to feel more like a modern MMO. This will also obviously work with the Reflect King Classic client too. There's three very simple steps that we're going to go through in this video. Firstly, we'll go through everything that you need to do to max the graphics to the maximum potential that the client can handle, with some extra tweaks that you can do with an NVIDIA graphics card to make it look even better. We'll have a section on modernization add-ons, add-ons which will literally add features to make the game more akin to a modern MMO. Then we'll go through some very modern UI overhauls that you may be interested in, but I've also got some add-ons that are going to revamp the vanilla UI, but also maintain that nostalgic feeling of the vanilla UI, just make it so much better. But before I jump in, we do have to talk about one add-on that has been very recently released called VoiceOver, which totally revamps the classic WoW experience, because now with the power of voice AI, it's become easier to impersonate certain people, but also iconic video game characters. The VoiceOver add-on adds fully voice-acted dialogue to every quest in vanilla World of Warcraft, and when you accept the quest, a little dialogue window will appear where you'll hear a character chatting away and it continues to play when you walk away from the quest giver so you're never wasting time. I've been using this add-on for a while now and it's crazy how much detail I've missed from vanilla WoW leveling. But with this add-on it is much easier to understand the overlining storyline of entire zones and then the big storylines like the Defiance Brotherhood of a Missing Diplomat. This add-on totally refreshes the leveling experience and improves how the world building is communicated to the character. Sometimes the pronunciations are incorrect and the gnome sounds pretty bad, but at the end of the day, gnomes sound terrible anyway, voice acted by the main person who voice acts gnomes. I mean, like, whenever I meet a WoW player in real life and find out they play a gnome, I immediately go to the toilet and wash my hands. But luckily, there is just a quick mute button if you don't like the irritating gnome voices. You can also replay the audio from quests directly from the quest log which is another nice thing because you can do that while traveling to your next quest. So it's really impossible now to miss out on important story points during your leveling journey. You can get the add-on directly off Curse Client, just make sure to get the VoiceOver Classic add-on and then the VoiceOver Sounds add-on. I think the file size was too large for it to just be in one add-on listing, so make sure to get both. Now, to remaster the game's graphics, you know, take the graphics beyond the ultra settings that you can do manually in the game. Most guides out there, including my own from years ago, they're going to recommend you to start messing around with macros. But nobody has time for that. I mean, the less time you spend making macros, the more time you have to spend dying in Skull Rock Cave. And there's just a much easier way to do it now. There's an add-on out there that can take care of all the settings, and it's called Pro Ultra Graphics. But before you install it, you need to add these lines of text inside your config file. You can just copy and paste it directly from the add-on page where the instructions are. Your config file is in Program Files uh, times 86 World of Warcraft, and then pick the version of World of Warcraft you want to add it to. So, you know, Classic is Ravalich King Classic, but then Classic Error is Classic Error. And then in the WTF folder, there is the config file. Just add these lines of text to the bottom of the notepad file, save it, and then install your add-on, and Bob's your uncle. You never have to worry about any, you know, dicking about with macros and stuff like that. And now when you go into the game, it will look absolutely stunning with more grass on the ground, increased view distance, more detailed shadows, and just deeper, more vibrant colors. And this is as good as you can make the classic client look without breaking terms of service and like installing an EMB mod or something like that. But if you have an Nvidia graphics card, you can add a sharpness filter and keep it at 50% to just make it that little bit better. And if you want a more cinematic look, you can add a contrast filter for Nvidia or just do it in game and set it in game to about 65%. And another optional extra guys is that you can obviously use the action cam on Classic WoW. I think a lot of people do forget that you can do this. And obviously it just adds a much more cinematic way to play the game. I'll put the macro in the description for you to toggle that on and off. Before we move on to the next section, it's time to talk about today's sponsor. 
Now, one of the inevitable problems that we are all going to face when Diablo 4 launches are server queues to actually get into the game and play it in the first place, especially if you work a 9 to 5 job and you begin home precisely when everyone else in the world also does. But what if you could control your PC from your phone and get yourself into a server queue early so by the time that you get home, you're ready to play the game. Well, we can easily do this with Awesome Remote, a new intelligent software and app that allows you to take full control of your PC from your phone. And you can even remotely turn on your PC from your phone with a new smart plug that you can now order on Amazon. They've also done a lot of work into the gaming keyboard to make it much easier for you to use. You can fully customize what keybind keys you want to appear on the screen. I decided to give a software a little test on Diablo 2 to see what it's like, and I was surprised how easily I could defeat hordes of enemies, crawl through dungeons, and manage my character and inventory. And when playing WoW, I was surprised how easy it was to go around completing quests and even do dungeons. There's a free version you can try now, and if you like the software, you can buy the game version to get your game streamed at 144 FPS. It's available on iOS, Android, and on Windows. You'll find all the info in the description. Now let's go through some modernization add-ons. My new favorite add-on is called Narcissus, and it's basically a replacement of the character menu. So you press the add-on, and it has a much more modern MMO look to the character menu, where you can view all of your gear, and you can swap gear with other gear that you've got equipped in your infantry. And obviously detailed information about your stats and all of your resistances are here as well. And if you right click the add-on, there's a little interface where you can take cool screenshots of your character. So this is a really cool and easy way if you want your character as your Discord photo or something like that. Now, if you want your map to look as cool as mine, you want to give the add-on sexy map. There's a number of default presets that you can mess around with. I like this rustic one because I think it goes well with the rest of my UI, but there's some cool ones here like the Diablo one, which is actually animated, which I also really like. This basic faded square one is also quite nice. This is also a really nice parchment one. And this burning sun one is pretty cool as well. And obviously you can totally customize this to your heart's content. Now, more modern MMOs generally just tell you where certain NPCs are by default on your map so you don't have to talk to a guard to find stuff out. So as you can see on my map, by the way the map add-on is Leatrix maps if you want to get that also. But as you can see, I can see certain trainers like Herbalism Trainer, Ammo Vendor, well actually it's a gunsmith, or a poison supplier and this is all on the map so I don't have to mess about tabbing out going a wow head or talking to a guard I know where everything is straight away just by looking at my map if you're playing classic error you're gonna have to get better vendor price obviously so you can actually see the vendor price you will want classic aura duration so you can actually see the duration of buffs and debuffs you also want classic caspars so you can actually see enemy cast bars. We want to get modern target frames so you can actually see the HP amount of enemy mobs and also NPCs, even like friendly NPCs. You also want to get yourself plated to make nameplates look much better. I will uh, leave in the description some info about how to get my profile exactly how it is now. <sighs> Now, when it comes to UI overhauls, you have a number of options. You can actually just go and use the Dragonflight UI and port it over to Classic WoW. It looks quite nice and it works really well. Problem is you can't move it around too much though. But if you don't really want to modernize your UI, you can just maintain that nostalgic look of the vanilla UI with a coat of polish. And what you do is you get SUI with dark mode. And this is my personal favorite combo for when I want to play vanilla WoW. You can also try easy frames, which is slightly different, but the main reason I like SUI is just the thickness of the health plates. It's, it's just built there. I don't know how to like describe it. I, do, I just like it more. It just looks way more polished and clean. For SUI, you can have it with or without bartender. My preference is to have it with bartender because of the easy key binds and I'm just used to using bartender. If you want to make Bartender look really good, maintaining the blizzard R on the sides of the action bars, but you don't want it to be like too big, it's pretty simple. All you do is you go to the blizzard art pack section in the menu and then change it to one bar only. And then you can change it to some lines as well if you want to, uh, you know, spice it up a bit. And this means it doesn't cover your entire screen. It's much more compact. 
And obviously you can also get the add-on dark mode to make it look darker. And you can change the color of UI to whatever you want it to be. Personally, with my UI, I like my unit frames dark, but I like the menus to be a different color. So this is my favorite combo. I have the UI on dark, which is basically the, uh, you know, the bartender bit at the bottom. And then I have unit frames on black. I want that as dark as possible. And then I'll have my menus as red. So when I go to the talent menu, or I go to the character menu of a spell book, it's red instead. I just like that look, that blackened, you know, red look. Now I can also take the bow out even further and use an even more custom UI. I've personally in the past used a Guild Wars 2 UI, which I honestly miss because it was really, really good. But I got sick of people coming into my Twitch being an absolute spurg about it and... Yeah, that just kind of wound, wound me up a bit, so I've stopped using it. If you prefer a very minimalist UI, there's some good LVUI imports out there like ZIUI or El Palhono's import. Now, if you guys need more detailed written instructions on how to install everything that I've talked about in the video, what I'm going to do is I am going to write a big written version of this video in a Google Drive document. All you have to do is subscribe and go to my subscriber only trailer and you will find it there in the description and it will have all the links and absolutely everything you need to get this done. Anyway guys, my name is Meta Goblin and this is my next video. Ciao.